What's good everybody, welcome back to my channel. It is JC Sims here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be giving everyone a first look into the highly, highly anticipated Sims 4 Brook Heights open world mod beta. There is so much to unpack in this mod, so let's just jump into it. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone has had a fabulous week. Um, I'm currently filming on a Friday night. I'm having a poppin' Friday night and I'm going to review the Brook Heights open world mod and it is the beta. It is out right now on Patreon. If you subscribe at at least the $5 tier, there is $1, $5, and $10. If you subscribe at at least the $5 tier, which is the um, tester, you get access to the open world beta mod as well as his other beta mods. So keep in mind two things. Um, this is just a beta. So when you pay the $5 to be a beta tester, don't expect like a full, complete, smooth experience right off the bat. Your job is really to test the game and if you run into any issues with the game, go ahead and go to the Discord. If you um, join him on Patreon, you will get a Discord link. Go ahead and uh, notify Arnie of this problem and um, also you can message him on Patreon as well. So just saying that, don't just write it off as like a buggy mod because the mod's not done yet. You're a beta tester. So if you run into any bugs or anything, make sure to notify him so he's able to fix those before the final version is released. Arnie has reiterated multiple times that this is not going to make Willow Creek open world or my Shuno open world. This is a completely new custom world that is built off of a 64 by 64 active lot in the middle and then everything else is placed off lot with the tool mod um, and it's on an like expandable 360 by 360 playable area so it's really just essentially one lot in the middle but there's a bunch outside of it let's get into the downloading and installation Okay, so like I said, I'm gonna show you how to install this mod because it's a little more, um, I don't wanna say hard because it is very simple, but there's a few more steps involved. It's gonna say, welcome to Brook Heights beta, blah, 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 blah. Um, like I said last, it is just a 64 by 64 in the middle of the world, and then there's a 360 by 360 playable area. Um, I've already done this, but uh, you should make a copy of your mods folder and your saves folder before the installation of Brook Heights. It's very, very easy. I will show you how to do that when we get into the files. But to download, what you're going to do is you're going to come all the way down to the download link down here. Also on this page, uh, these links is where if you were to encounter an issue with um, a bug or something that needs to be reported in the mod, you would either go to the Discord or fill out this form. Once it's downloaded, um, depending on what browser you're using, I use Google Chrome, you're going to find it down here or wherever you find your downloads from the internet. You're going to open it, but you need a program. I use WinZip, but there's like 7-Zip. All you need to do is type in um, like an extractor program. I recommend WinZip. I will leave a link down below. It's completely free. Um, you might get annoying messages past the trial date, but you can just X those out or pay for it if you're rich. It's up to you. Okay, so once you've opened the extracted file, you are going to get something like this and we're going to open it. I'm not going to put the actual directions up here just because you can read them yourself if you'd like to read them and do it yourself and skip over this. All the Patreon and stuff will be down below, but this I'm just going to show you how to do it. Um, this was successful for me, so it should be successful for you if you follow these exact steps that I'm doing. Um, so if you come, we're going to skip game and we're going to come straight to graphics first and we are going to drag this file, the contents in the graphics folder, the graphics rules.sgr file. And we're going to go to your documents folder. You're going to come to electronic arts, Sims 4, and then you're going to go to config override. I already have it in here, but this should be completely blank when you go to drag it over here. So now we're going to go to the mods and CC folder 
and we're going to click this and do not click inside of this. We're just going to go right to our mods folder over here. Um, just to go back, we are in our documents, electronic arts, the Sims 4, and we are going to go to our mods folder. If you do not have a mods folder, it's because maybe you've never loaded the game. Once you load the game, a mods folder will automatically generate. Also, what I meant by copy your mods folder, if you don't want to delete your mods, I deleted my mods, but all, all you do is copy and then paste them over here or somewhere else. And then I went ahead and did the same thing with my saves. Copy them and paste them over here before you load the game with this mod, just in case you do have mods or saves that might corrupt, you know, things and you, you just don't want to permanently damage anything so always have those to save anything that you do not want to get corrupted potentially we're back over here we're going to put this whole brook heights full build beta folder the whole folder into here we can replace them i don't really care next we're going to come to the save file folder and to go back i just pressed this thing and we're gonna put this in the saves. I already have it in there, but you just drag it over. In the game folder, there's gonna be two different subfolders, camera system and world. So first we're gonna go to camera system. So with that, we're gonna want to drag just this camera file um, over into a different part of our um, game. So you're actually gonna have to go to your computer it might be called something else. Mine is just called OS. But when you get here, um, it's gonna be in this PC, OS, or whatever. Um, program files, x86. And then you're gonna go to Origin Games, The Sims 4, Game, Bin, and then the Res folder. Then you're gonna drag it over. I already have, and keep in mind that when you do this, it's going to tell you that you need to replace the file. Go ahead and replace the file. It just plays with your camera settings so that you're able to um, zoom out really far. But after you move the camera over, we're gonna go ahead and go back to worlds. So we're gonna come back to our OS program files x86. Yours might say x32 or x64 just depending on what kind of computer you have but whatever one says program files x whatever whatever but you're gonna go there origin games sims 4 and now we're gonna go to delta ep01 worlds areas and you're gonna put both the civic center 02 and the retails 01 worlds you're going to put them over here and again it is going to replace no matter what let's go ahead and get into it and i'm going to kind of show you guys a walkthrough of the story mode and we're going to explore around brook heights a little bit okay guys so if you followed my instructions correctly what's going to happen is you're going to get a loading screen first it went so fast that i couldn't really get it but it's a brook heights loading screen and then you're going to want to load the game and then you should have a new um, save file right here called the Brook Heights Open World Beta.2. So you're just gonna play that. And there is a custom loading screen, which I love the custom loading screen so much. Okay, so once you load into the world, um, I noticed that there was, when obviously if you watch the installation instructions, there was a custom content pack file. So that is where the custom map came from. I've never had a custom map. Honestly, it looks like Brook Heights is chilling back here for real. Um, anyways, so I have like read everything like strictly so I can obviously know how to do everything with the story mode. So when you load up, you're gonna wanna go into the Brooks household, which is right here in Willow Creek and play it. Um, right now with the Brook Heights mod, it is just like a save file at the moment. He is trying to implement the um, Brook Heights world into all the rest. So that could potentially be something that comes out in the um, final product, but we will just have to see about that. But I am really excited nonetheless. I've been watching some of, but you can, wow, you can already see when we downloaded the camera files, it allows you to zoom out like to 
very astronomical proportions <laughs> and then zoom in but there's no issues i went ahead and deleted my mods folder and i backed up my saves but it doesn't seem that it broke anything yet but this is the house you load into okay i've been playing sims 3 so i totally just lost where to go to the next floor but yeah cute little house okay but it seems that the first thing well first i'm going to show you if you don't want to do this like story mode thing all you have to do is click on the mailbox and go to burke heights but i'm going to show you the story mode how to get into it so what you're going to do is you're going to come to this photo which is such a beautiful photo and you're going to examine the picture we're going to have amos oh of course we have amos and amelia totally forgot to tell you who they were but it gives you a little pop-up that you're about to start the Brook Heights adventure. Your sim will quit their job, travel the world, and find clues about the lost city of Brook Heights. Are you sure you want to continue? Okay. And then it says, family picture. I love this picture. This is all we have left from our parents. But wait, what's written behind? I've never seen this before. This message says, Amos, Amelia, Janine, and Frank. Picture taken by Grandma, Brook Heights, 1996. Wait, Grandma took this picture? And what is... Brook Heights. I've never heard of this place before, and she never told us anything about this. Maybe I should visit her. I haven't seen her much, much since she moved to Oasis Springs. Okay. Enter the Brook Heights story mode career. <laughs> Amos is now in Brook Heights adventure story mode at Brook Heights. He starts Sunday at 9 a.m. So I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure you can get a job in the open world, but we will have to see. So now we have to go to oasis springs let's go ahead and go with our who's our wife is this our wife oh i think that's his sister <laughs> yikes okay um her house is oh brooks duh so now we are at grandma's house okay we're gonna come knock on her door she said come on in honey um oh, regina regina what do we have to do? Look at my notes. Oh, ask her about the picture. Ask Grandma about the picture in Brook Heights. Okay, so he's gonna ask her. And she said, Oh my gosh, Amos, I'm so sorry I didn't tell you anything, and I don't even remember that text was written behind the picture. When your parents passed away, oh, damn. My heart was so broken that I couldn't even say anything. I guess you should know that Brook Heights is a hidden city very far away. Only a few have gotten the chance to go there, including your parents. But I have to tell you, this picture wasn't even taken in Brook Heights. It was in Willow Creek, and I've never been to this world. Maybe your parents wrote this for you to find your way back one day. I've been told it's a world with no limits, no boundaries. I have no idea what this means. There is something else I've never told you, and I'm so sorry about that. Maybe it's time for you and your sister to learn more about your origins. I have something that belonged to your father, hidden in the basement. Maybe it could help you. But promise me something, Amos. If you and Amy find Brook Heights, be careful and please come back sometimes. When your parents went there, they never came back, and I couldn't live with myself if something happened to you. Okay, so what happened with his parents? Were they like, oh, duck, is this like a Bella Goss situation? Like, okay, but we have to go to the basement, I assume, now. And there's a hidden room. Oh. Okay, shady. I mean, you already saw it, but let's just, like, make this a cinematic experience. Because I honestly haven't really watched any footage of it. What? What? Okay, so we have the where how do I get how do I get in here? Okay, what is happening? Oh, I don't know. Something with the camera. I don't know what is going on, to be honest. Okay, so oh, X marks the fucking spot. Um I guess I'll just come over here. It's like filled with like black boxes. It's it's kind of giving me um oh it is, it's like um what's it called? In Sims 3, Jungle, not Jungle Adventures. Oh, you know what I'm talking about. When you can go to Egypt World Adventures. So I just did all that like cinematic bullshit for nothing. Anyways, let's come have him examine Frank Brooks's map, which I think was, she said, his grandfather's. This map is weird. It looks like a picture taken from the city. There's a red mark in here. Where could that be? Definitely not in Willow Creek. I know each neighborhood by heart. Thanks, Grandma. I'm finding this place now. So now we have to go back to Newcrest. 
Then we go to the only damn place in here. It's the Midtown Meadows. So now that we're here, we are supposed to examine the registry on the wall. The Fisher's Registry is a book that identifies each fishing boat that has been registered in the last 30 years. Interesting. Let's take a look at the year 1996. Nothing. Maybe 1995? Oh my gosh, yes, I found it. Frank's bro Frank's <laughs> Frank Brooks registered the fishing boat one bit bit, bit the day before Winterfest 1995. The boat was declared to be docked in Magnolia Promenade. That's it. I didn't know my dad had a boat. Let's go to Magnolia Promenade. It should be in the sea. So off we go. I hope this is a lot to like find this like <laughs> I hope someone got gas money. And then here we just need to swim in the ocean. So I think we can go anywhere and then just go to the water. So yeah, once you get here, um, your dad's boat is going to be right here. I don't know if that's something he added or if that's always been there. And I honestly, I don't come to Magnolia Promenade, so I wouldn't know. Okay, look at him. He's going to go swim over there. I just found a note on the boat. It says, water and it will grow. Talk to it and it will, sh talk to it and it will share all its secrets. Enter it. Oh. And the glade will appear. <laughs> I wonder what this means. Okay. What now? Now we're supposed to go home. So now we will find a tree close to the house. It says, choose the view interaction several times and then travel to Sylvan Glade, but you have to unlock, it says you have to unlock the new ones. Honestly, I have no clue, so I'm just going to go ahead and go. So now that we are here, there's just a plane crashed. Coup. We're gonna search for clues in the plane debris. Is this like how his dad died? Um, it says, Amos, Amelia, I hope you find one day this note. Your father and I have always tried to protect you. We love you so much. You can't imagine how much we love you. Your grandma is going to take care of you now. And once you are grown up, I hope you will find the clues we have hidden all around the world for you to go back to the place you belong to, Brook Heights. There's so many things we would like to tell you, but we can't. Go to Brook Heights, live your life freely, and maybe one day you will understand what happened. Go to the airport, grab a flight. There's an there's our old apartment waiting for you in Brook Heights. Be grateful, be happy, love whoever you want, and always be proud of yourselves. Period. Love whoever the fuck you want. We love you so much. Your mother, Janine. Um, NB, the airport is located in West Oasis Springs. So, I'm gonna go ahead and go... But we're gonna go ahead and bring our sister with us. You know, we can't leave a bitch here. We didn't left here all day. <laughs> okay, so I can't read, and you actually can only fly um, at 11 a.m. It says, and I didn't read that. I got ahead of myself. But I just wanted to come here and show you that it will not let you. You have to come back one hour t before 11. So you have to come back at 10 to get a chance to go. But this is the airport. This is so cool because you have like the body scanner. You have these TVs that have like the news on. What else do you have in here? Oh, okay. And then just a waiting room. It looks like this is a waiting room and you would just go out to your flight. That's really cool. But I am going to go ahead and do something. Oh my god, I don't. <laughs> Guys, I don't believe my mods installed. I was just going to cheat it up to 10 a.m., but I cannot. So I will see you guys at 10 a.m. <laughs> oh my god, is Amos, you know. He's cute. Ooh, freckles. Okay. I might have to meet you in Brook Heights too, honey. Let's be very serious, okay? <laughs> and what it. What is he doing? He is just having a ball back there. Who is? Who are you? Clara Bjergsen. You live in Windenburg. Why are you over here? She's like loaded and she's over here in Windenburg. In my bushes, throwing some leaves around, looking like a total creep. Like these little aviator scent. Girl, if you don't get your... Um, I don't know what kind of bug this is, but I just got mail. <laughs> and I got like five different masks. And one is a skull. I'm very uncomfy right now. I, okay. But anyway, it's almost 10 o'clock. So we're just going to go ahead and travel over there. I'm going to go ahead and max up his... Oh. I'm going to go ahead. Actually, let's keep him hungry and go out to eat in Brook Heights. But she's tired and we don't have time for that. So you can't get cheated up, girl. But let's go ahead and go. 
And the airport is going to be in Oasis Springs, the Arid Ridge. It didn't say airport, so I was like, huh. But it is the Arid Ridge Bar. I don't think I mentioned that last time when I was going. Because honestly, it took me a little to find out. I was like, hmm, <laughs> where the fuck is this airport? But now we can just go. I did not miss today's flight. Oh, I have to wait till 11? Okay. Okay, now we can go. You actually have to wait till 11. It said on the directions 11, and then on the plane it said an hour before. So I thought it meant an hour before 11, but be there at 11. Do not miss your flight. <laughs> I actually, have you guys ever missed a flight before? I missed one flight in my life. And then I missed like a few flights on purpose. Did you guys just hear that on camera? Like, I think the cats might be murdering each other. Anyways, I, um, I missed, like, a few flights on purpose, but I've only ever missed, like, one flight. Like, I missed it, and I meant to get on it, and it was very stressful. Oh my gosh. It's, like, the worst, honestly, one of the worst experiences ever. <laughs> okay, everybody, so now we are in Brook Heights, and right now we are in some type of clothing store it looks like he ate on the plane he had himself those little um biscoff cookies on the plane and my bitch over here took a whole snooze on the plane because all her needs are full but he has to pee he said i'm not using that little ass dirty ass bathroom that's literally me i try to hold it for as long as possible on the plane but guys this is it I'm gonna go ahead and go up all the levels so everything shows up. This is it. This looks amazing. I'm not gonna lie to you. It looks amazing. If we press tab, we can zoom out a little bit more. It even has like a Empire State looking building place, but I love this. I love like the little inner city, like small, not inner city, but like smaller buildings. I always like, I love living in the city. I've lived in the city I grew up, like, not in a big city, but, like, as soon as I turned 18, I was like, nope, moving to the city, and I moved around to a few cities, now I'm in Miami, <laughs> um, but I'm getting off topic, but you pretty much have everything to your heart's desire here, you have musical theater, um, which actually has a schedule, you can check the movie schedule, um, welcome to Broad Street, known for the world's most famous musical shows, here's the schedule for the upcoming shows, you have dogs on Monday and Thursday at 7, the line is Queen at Wednesday and, set Wednesday and Saturday at 7, and it's $50 per entrance and per show. So I just like that. Like, we had that in The Sims 3, and I'm not going to try to make this a whole, like, comparison or a think piece on game versus game, pack versus pack, which is better. But, like, one of the things that I liked in The Sims 3 is that, like, there was, like, kind of, like, a schedule to things. And, like, my Sim kind of could look forward to stuff. Like, oh, I can go on a date with you know, my man, and go out to the next show on Thursday, and then we can go out to eat over here. You know what I mean? I personally didn't mind rabbit holes in The Sims 3, because when you're dealing with a lot of people, um, like in a household, it's kind of nice to just send people away on a date in a rabbit hole and not worry about it, and there is a few rabbit holes around here. So I'm already liking that aspect of having, like, it just makes it your Sims feel more well-rounded when they have stuff to, like, I don't know, look forward to. Where was that place? Am I stupid? You have the H&M Fashion Store, which is where I think I'm at now. Oh, I am. Okay, so you can buy these outfits. I, one thing that I don't do in The Sims 4, and I feel like it is due to the fact that we don't have an open world, is I don't go out much. It, it the sim, honestly, when you think about it, it really is a life simulator, because I don't really go out ever in real life, so it really is more of a life simulator than I thought. But, um, in The Sims 3, I found myself going places more, because there's no loading screens and stuff, you know, so I, would, I didn't even know you could purchase outfits <laughs> on Sims, honestly. Um, so I like that a lot. So what should we do next? It's, like, kind of overwhelming. I guess we should go to our house, which I think is over here. It says apartments. So you can also, um, rename things as well if you like um which one is ours okay so this one has two bedrooms i don't know just making assumptions over here he's really about to piss himself so we're gonna get him to the restroom oh he's really far away okay so i could not get there on time <laughs> which is so embarrassing i had a little bit of like severe lag when he was running through here 
Um, but now it's running smoothly and perfectly fine. So I'm, it's probably just everything loading because I've never been here. So it's whatever. It just kind of like skipped, like kind of like how Sims 3 would. Like when you first got to lots, it would kind of like load a little bit. So that's probably just what it was. Um, but you're disgusting. We're going to have you go ahead and take a shower. Okay, his needs are super shitty. So let's try to look for somewhere maybe to eat. We do have the Simmart grocery store, and things do have closing hours, which is interesting. Oh, it's just a rabbit hole, which is fine. So right now you can only buy groceries online, and that is coming in a future update, obviously. Um, we have the art museum, which I think probably, yeah, it's not a rabbit hole either. Cute, cute. Um, what's that? Oh, graveyard. Which is really awesome. I really miss graveyards in Sims. I really like them. You know what? Take a shot every time I say Sims 3. I'm gonna try not to, but I really do miss open worlds. And I also, Sims 3 doesn't really work for me. Like I'll play for a few hours. It might let me play all day. It just depends, but it will always crash. And it's weird because I've never had my Sims 4 game crash unless like it was a corrupted mod and I, I immediately knew and deleted it and it was fine and it never crashed again but I have never had the Sims 4 crash so <sighs> it's nice to have a little bit of open world in the Sims 4 because I do love open world and I wish my Sims 3 game did not crash but it does but I still try to play it oh I love this parking garage uh, this is the Grand Hotel, and this, okay, this is also not a rabbit hole either, so you just, um, pay, and then you're able to stay in the suite. You also have the actual, um, international airport over here, where you can fly to different places. Um, you can check the schedule, but you can fly to Salvadorada, um, Willow Creek or Windenburg and it says like different hours. I'm not sure if that's like a rabbit hole you'd be going for that long. But it seems like that would be how long it would take to get there. So that's kind of cool. If like, I'll check it out, but it'd be cool if like maybe your sim like disappeared for 16 hours and then you got to go to Salvadorada. But oh, we're right here. What do we live across from? Okay, this is a coffee place. They may have food. I really like the vibes in here. Oh my god, I love the lights. This is really cool, I love this. I really want somewhere to eat, like some Donald's or something. Like, where's the food? This is the bank where you can like get a loan. And things. This is City Hall where we can apply for a work visa. We're actually gonna go ahead and do that now. I didn't know because, the, I don't, well, now let's check. Yeah, it says that this is my career, so I, don't, I didn't know if you could work here. So we went into City Hall and got a work visa, and it says that the Burkhide City Hall is happy to inform you that your visa application has been accepted. You can now go to the Ministry of Labor in West Burkhides to apply for a job. The only career in the city available now is at Sousal Airlines. Your visa has to be renewed every single week. Wow, that's really cool. To renew your visa, you just need to go home and come back again. The officers at the airport will stamp your passport. Have a nice day and a nice stay in Burkhides. So once a week, we have to go home to renew our work visa. So um, right now he's working on obviously a lot of things. This is beta and obviously one of the things that he's working on is jobs and how many jobs are available. So I'm going to have him go to the airport. But another thing that he's working on is the ability to put this not as just a save file. So I really like the idea of having this in every world and just coming here maybe like it is a different country and you like have a work visa and you just stay in an apartment for a week at a time or whatever, maybe work. I like that idea, it just is something else to do. So I'm really liking this mod. Most mods I find myself, I forget about them and this is just such a substantial mod that I don't think I'll forget about it. Oh, we can get a, did I not just say I wanted Sim Donald's guys? I really want somewhere to eat, like some Donald's or something. Like, like some Donald's or something. So we're gonna go here first. We're gonna go to Sim Donald's. Oh, it didn't even say Sim Donald's, did it? I completely made that up. McDonald's. 
Perfect. <laughs> Honestly, we should have got a car because, oh, we can. Go to John's garage, please. I wanted a new one, but we don't have any money. Hey, I'm John. Welcome to my garage, the best place to buy a new or secondhand car in Brook Heights. You can also fill the gas at my gas station. Our new motors will send us new cars to sell soon. We'll let you know when we are updated about this. So let's come out here. Okay, swooping up in the van. Okay, he's having some issues. So one thing that you can download is, I forgot who the mod was by, I'll plaster on the screen, but it like made animations for the cars and things. So he's gonna drive car and you have to like route your sims to where you wanna go. We're gonna route the vehicle here. And this is a bug that he's working on the water below. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, he actually avoided the car. I'm not sure if that was on purpose or like just by lucky chance because he almost got spanked. Let's go to McDonald's. Oh my goodness, he ran to McDonald's. All our food is out of stock. Honestly, same with McDonald's. This is so, so on brand. I, you have no idea. Um, so this is obviously something that is still getting updated as well. But you can get a haircut at Tiffany's, go to the pharmacy, go to Toys Are Yours, or um, go to the grocery store. Let's go over here too. Oh, you can only go from eight to four. Eighty dollars? Eighty dollars an hour, or only get eighty dollars? Like, so just to give an overview of some more places that Brook Heights will include right now in this version of the beta, um, you have the Brook Heights Gym, which also has an entrance fee of twenty dollars. It is not a rabbit hole. You go in, you work out, you get out, and you also have subways. So. I just discovered this as I was running around and like pissing myself all over the city. Um, there is subways so you can uh, get in the subway and go like if you want to go to the air from the airport and then um, any of the pink ones um, indicates that it is a subway and you can come over here and travel to a different subway station so that's really cool as well this one right here is plumbob um records which is a music studio um i think i remember reading somewhere that it was about okay it says welcome to plumbob records if you wrote a song recently would like to share with the world you know where to find us you can license any song in our music studio okay so i don't have any licensed music on me but if i did this is where you would come to license it which i think is really cool also so uh you also have the ministry of labor which you can manage your job i'm not sure if that lets you get like normal jobs besides the airport but we're going to teleport over here and see even though it is 10 17 at night okay so this does let you get the normal job as well i'm not sure what really happens okay so you can go ahead and quit the story mode so right now actually i forgot to say this the story mode is just the jump before like getting into brook heights and it will update as the game as the game <laughs> it honestly does feel like a brand new game not gonna lie but it will update as the mod update so you'll get a more um in-depth story mode but uh, you can go ahead and quit it and just get a normal job. Another thing that I think is really, really cool is you have like this little drive-in movie theater. Obviously, you can't just go whenever. There's a movie schedule for here as well. And they're on Tuesday, Friday, Saturday, Sims of the Dead, Roaring Vice, Super Kids and they're all screened around 8 p.m. So that's really cool as well. I love that. It looks so real. And you also have like little food vendor things out here as well. Right beside there, you just have a little park, bring the little jits and let them get their energy out so they knock out when you go home. You ain't gotta deal with them no more. Um, you also have the Forest Eco Lodge, which is another hotel thing. And you have to obviously check in at a certain hour as well but it's just this little tiny rustic lodge. One thing to know, it's not populated yet either. So again, like I've said 15 times, it will grow as this mod grows with it. But it is really cool just to explore right now. Like you have like a junkyard. Um, you can actually sleep in this camper if you'd like. And you have a bunch of like junk. Um, and you can actually use 
It's like, what was, what's that called? The recycler, the recycling thing. He also put in the notes that you absolutely need um, get to work in city living. There's also other interactions that require certain things that you don't need, but it will enhance your gameplay. So I mentioned that in the download instructions, but just to say it again, like obviously if you came here, um, I think a lot of this um, trash came with Eco Lifestyle, so I'm not sure that this would be this full, but correct me if I'm wrong. And then way, way behind the Forest Eco Lodge, which is kind of creepy, there's a dot. And it's just a forest, which is honestly kind of sweet. Okay, I know he said it's not populated, and I know it's just one of the random populated sims, but one of the bartenders, is there a bar upstairs? Why is she coming? Oh, there is a bar upstairs. I was like, what is she doing? But I also love this. Oh, this little hammock is cute. Ooh, that's definitely custom content, because if we had that, it would probably be in every single backyard and community lot that I made. <laughs> like, because I love hammocks. Where is he going? Oh, this is cute. Oh, really like that. This apartment is lit. Okay. You're also going to find little things like this around the city where you're able to, like, shoot hoops or, um, like, vendors or sit down at a table and have lunch or stuff like that. I think that's really awesome and makes the game feel a lot more immersive so yeah i think that is where i'm gonna leave us off for today i feel like i went over pretty much everything that is available in this version of the beta without like telling you everything so there's still a little bit for you guys to explore if you'd like to go ahead and support him um i will leave his patreon link down below if you'd like to go ahead and donate five dollars maybe ten dollars if you got that trump check um I ain't, i'm not pocket watching um but if you'd like to it not only supports him for making this amazing mod but it also helps him make the game better with feedback from everybody so like i said i'll leave that down below i have a lot of fun videos planned for this month especially since it's spooky season which leads into my favorite season which is thanksgiving and christmas so a lot of fun videos planned some um seasonal house videos of course as well as some cc showcases and mod reviews but you'll just have to stay tuned for that and as always don't forget to subscribe to my channel um, comment like turn your notification bell on if you like videos like this oh look we do have a statue of liberty okay and <laughs> i will see you guys in the next one bye